In the world of luxury homes, these owners love to have all the latest technology and gadgets. Yet, in luxury homes, you don't see anyone with solar. Why is that? Well, stick with me for the next few minutes because that is exactly what we're gonna talk about. But stick around to the end because there's one sector of the luxury market that has embraced solar and we're gonna talk about that too. One of the first things that I hear people ask when they see a really big luxury home is, how much are the utility bills on that place? Funny enough, this question does not usually come from the potential buyer. However, I understand it because this summer has been really hot for everyone, which means the utility bills are higher. But literally, when you look at these big luxury homes, almost no one has solar. And one of the primary reasons they have been slow to embrace solar energy lies in the delicate balance between aesthetics and design. Many high-end homeowners and architects prioritize the visual appeal of the house, aiming to preserve the architectural integrity and beauty. Solar doesn't really go well with this. Luxury homeowners often have a very strong preference for seamless design, which can be somewhat challenging when you're looking at conventional solar panels. Now, yes, there have been advancements in technology leading to sleeker designs for these solar panels, but even these are hard to incorporate into the architectural style of a luxury home. Now, remember when I said that luxury homeowners like to have all the latest technology and the coolest gadgets? Things like heated pools, spas, fancy lights, and amazing entertainment systems? Well, all of this requires a lot of energy, and meeting those high energy demands purely through solar can have some significant challenges, like the overall area on the roof. Now, despite the overall size of a luxury home, the area that you actually have on a roof might not accommodate the actual number of solar panels that you need to take care of the entire build. And high-end homes often have complex architectural design, making it really challenging to accommodate all the solar panels that would be needed. Solar panels rely on light. I know, duh. Well, duh. Hang with me. Its availability varies with weather conditions and the time of day, and this can lead to energy fluctuations, which may require you to install expensive energy storage systems like batteries to ensure continuous power supply all throughout the day just because of the way the sunlight hits the house. And while solar panels can be cost-effective in the long run, the initial investment required to install a solar system to meet the energy needs of a luxury home can be extremely expensive. And this cost can deter luxury homeowners from fully adopting solar. How much is extremely expensive, you ask? Well, when you look at this article from NerdWallet, it says this. On the average, they can run between $15,000 and $25,000. However, if you keep reading, it shows that Angie reported the actual costs were closer to $18,000 to $35,000. That doesn't sound bad, right? Well, this is for an average size home in the US, which is about 2,000 square feet. So if you take that amount, and just for simple math sake, multiply it to a home that would be eight to 10,000 square feet, you're now likely paying anywhere from 150 to $175,000 for a solar system. And that does not include any of the batteries we just talked about, which you might need. How much do solar batteries cost, you might ask? Well, according to an article from Bankrate, they range in price from about 9,500 to 23,000. And according to Pineapple Energy, the average American home consumes 900 kilowatt hours a month, or 30 kilowatt hours a day. That brings the total yearly usage to around 10,800 kilowatt hours. But remember, we are not talking about an average home. We're talking about luxury homes, which consume more energy. So if you're looking at one of those batteries for a luxury home, you might need two. So I sold a luxury home for a client of mine about six or seven years ago, and they had solar on it. This home was about 7,000 square feet, and they paid $70,000 six or seven years ago. Now, it did take care of the entire electric bill, except for maybe two months out of the year when they told me that they would get a bill for about $20. Now, I can honestly say that is the only luxury home that I've ever sold that actually had solar on it. But if you're looking for an agent that can help you with a home that either has solar or maybe doesn't, but you're looking for a home with solar, give me a call. Look at my comments down below. You will find my phone number and my email. Reach out and I'll personally get you in touch with one of the amazing agents that I know all across the country. Then you have to think about the efficiency of the solar panels, which is heavily based on where you live. Some regions receive more sunlight throughout the year, like here in Arizona, making it a more viable option, while others might have less consistent sunlight throughout the year, which means it would take longer for your solar energy potential to build up. 
And to be honest, even here in sunny Arizona, solar isn't what you would expect it to be. As we already talked about, there are big upfront costs and many of the people looking to put solar on their home, they're doing it on a home that has been built for a while. And my number one recommendation before they put solar on their house when they ask, get your roof checked out. And if it needs to be replaced, replace it now. If not, this can lead to major headaches and major additional costs down the road. And if you are planning on selling your home with solar and you have not addressed any roof issues, this is the number one reason I see for deals canceling. When thinking about adding solar to a luxury home, homeowners may weigh the upfront cost against the potential savings. And some might decide that the long-term cost savings just don't justify the initial investment. Another important thing that you have to consider is how long do you plan on staying in the house? If you plan on living in the house for a long time, then the savings on energy bills could really stack up and therefore make it worth your while. But if you're thinking of selling soon, you might not get back all the money you spent for that upgrade. And some might be saying, well, even if I don't get all my investment back, adding solar to my house, it will increase the value of my home. And I have a little bad news for you. Depending on where you live, solar does not add a lot of value to your home. And if you made the decision to lease, then your solar adds no value to your home because the buyer now looks at it and says, well, I have a lease payment and oftentimes they still have an utility bill. Therefore, there's no value. The only way that I have seen solar add any value to a home is if the solar system has been paid off in full and they have no utility bills. And even then, it is not a huge value. In an article from Zillow, they state that a home with solar sells for 4.1% more than a home without it. And just like there's estimates, I don't trust that number, at least not here in Arizona. So when should you see your return on investment when you get solar? Well, for the average home, it's anywhere between six and 10 years. And for a luxury home, it will likely be a little bit longer because your system is a little larger and therefore costs a little more money. Despite these challenges, there is a growing trend among luxury homeowners. They are embracing sustainability and eco-friendly practices. And from what I have seen, that is showing up in ways like triple pane windows with a UV tint, adding additional insulation, having super smart thermostats, and using LED lights, as well as any other materials that help with being energy efficient. Now, the one sector of the market that has completely embraced solar and anything having to do with self-sufficiency are luxury compounds. They are completely powered by solar and have a uniqueness about them where they can be either on the grid or off. These gorgeous luxury compounds are emerging in some of the most picturesque locations on the planet. And at the heart of these self-sufficient luxury compounds lies an extensive solar-powered infrastructure. And because most of these compounds are on really large pieces of land, you will not find solar panels on the roofs. You will find personal solar farms that allow these panels to tilt depending on which direction the sun is. And thanks to the advancement in technology, these compounds can efficiently store all the energy that they're making in those batteries we talked about. These compounds also have sophisticated water management systems, allowing them to capture rainwater to use in their gardens, as well as high-tech filtration systems to make sure that their drinking water is as clean as can be. Now, when building and designing these homes, they will also take into consideration the direction of the sun and how the house is sitting on the land. And they do this to make sure that the window placements allow sun to come in in the winter to help heat the home and then build overhangs in other areas so that it helps block the sun and build trees and have vegetation so that it helps keep the house cool in the summer. These compounds are unlike anything you have ever seen and have extensive equipment running these homes so that they are completely self-sufficient and sustainable. Now, if you'd like to see a secret to alternative luxury home construction, make sure you take a look at this video. As always, I thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.